What kind of distraction? Sending Why the hell did you get to the left? Into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? That was looking at it. It's really stupid. Have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escape? I'm not sure. What the hell? Is they can't turn the head. They can't turn the head. Work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Well, I forgot what I was thinking uh, actually. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. I think I did What's been that happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship, impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded his yeah, ship to get away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Oh, Liara. Um, but yeah, uh, my favorite females in this game are whatever series game, whatever. Uh, Liara. The results are available on the information network terminal. Okay. Uh, Liara and Tally. Uh, maybe I guess maybe I have a thing for aliens. I don't know. Whatever. I hope they don't have space agents in this game. Oh, it's garage spot. But uh, yeah, um, different. But um yeah, I mean actually she was cool. Um, but I don't know. <sighs> Cause I wanna try new stuff out with sniper. Want to try new stuff out, I guess. AKA aliens not humans. But yeah, Italian and uh Liara are definitely my favorite females in the series. Um well, we're in the obviously, you know. You can't. <laughs> can I say? Can I say? You can't. You can hit on her attitude, yes, but she got the looks. <laughs> now, where the hell am I going? Um. Oh, this is Rex spot. No, it's not Rex spot. Oh, it's Kasumi. Or we got a poker table here, or blackjack, or whatever the hell. This thing, whatever the hell this is, is still here. The bar. Oh, I can't drink stuff? Kasumi stole the drinks? No, Kasumi. Oh, yeah, Kasumi also. Yeah, I also love Kasumi as well. Yeah, she's a, she's a pretty beast. But, um, yeah, thank you, Kasumi. It's good drinks. Downstairs, I guess. Um, yeah, here. Yeah. Who's that? Oh, it's a dog. What's that? Who the hell is that? This was Zaid's spot. What the hell is she doing in Zaid's spot? Where is that? I thought it was Jacob. I don't know if I can recognize anyone here. Oh, look at that. That's the... That, I can't point at it, but... This guy right here, the white shirt, that's the original Shepherd. I remember that. That was the first model they used for Shepard, and then they changed it to this, uh, well, not this one right here, but the, the one that you, people usually see with, you know, regular Shepard. You got Thane, there's like Thane right there, and Dro. This. Let me see. This Stellarian right here, the red background, I don't know where he's from. I think, I think he's the one from the guy who's working with Fisk. 
in part one. Vol this right there. Omega. Or I think it's a. Is that? Um. Oh, what is their name? Spectre. Oh, that's thing right there. That's, that's definitely thing. This guy right here at the top, right there, right above my head. I think, I, I think that's a Spectre that uh, Saren killed. But I messed up at one. Forgot his name. Um. Forgot his damn name. He's got bad. What's that? Air duct thing. Okay, Chobots. You got more, uh, more meat than usual. So say that. You got way more meat than usual. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info and I'll keep biting. And sure I was lucky to have her, uh, to be a character model in the Mass Effect game. That's, that's the extremely big right there. I don't know, I know she's a big Mass Effect fan, but damn, she, uh, props to her in respect, you know. Envy, but I respect that. Good job on her. I wanted to see one person still here, like, right, like, what the hell is she still doing here, or something like that, but, waiting for that. Wait, did, they, did, they, did they move my models, you bastards? I put them behind the glass and everything. Oh, they're gone. Who's this? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or, maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience with the Normandy SR1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think? Oh, he's going with Tally. Don't say no. Oh, I actually like Tally. Nice She's cool. One thing I can say about Cerberus is that they know how to build a ship. And about that Cerberus, I mean, I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Doctor Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You can make up for it on this tour of duty. Yes, sir. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance Agricultural Damn. Council. Damn, parents? My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. How old, how old are they? vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? Better. <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Oh yeah. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. 
What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance. Hey. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and at time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry You're on, a Joker. Aye, aye, sir. I'm liking AIs, but who am I kidding? I like aliens, so yeah. Two just old, right? Uh, that was, oh, Rex. Rex is from right here. That was locked, though. Save an available tool open, wow. Time to play the doggy. Oh, I thought it was this guy. Who is this? Cortez. Were we got Spanish now on the ship? We got Vega. Ooh, doggy. Doggy! Doggy, let's play doggy. Let's play doggy. Good job. Say doggy. All right. <laughs> Who's this? There's this guy here. Right. Weapon upgrades. Look at Vega in the back there. We pull uh, pull ups. I have to buy it? Oh wait, improve damage. Okay, okay, that's why. It's level two. Wait, did I just see the? I thought it was a cost of locusts. I was like, whoa, I want that. All right, let's talk to this guy first. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios, straight to business without even a hello. You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? Cerveza? With our supply chains, Lieutenant. Come on. Alliance procurement chains are in chaos. At least have it the right way. Running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. What? When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Okay. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. Oh, sir. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, <laughs> making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? Oh, Mako. It was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. So, good kind of commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. So I'm basically saying that the Mako is gone since the labs were destroyed, basically. Do you maintain this armory? 
I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down for Dad, too. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Wait, I missed that last part. You know you <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Oh, okay. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? <laughs> 